Ah, that little fox there. Did you see it? Well, it's that time again, isn't it? It's six o'clock. That means we've got a brand new one day special for you. We're crafting ourselves silly. We've got a fabazine for you. And of course, we've got Hayley Smith. Good evening, Hayley. Evening. Do you know, it's quite strange because normally you're to my left and I know. you're to my right. So I'm, it's, I'm sure it'll be fine. It will be fine. It will You've be fine. You've got room to look that way. <laughs> it's got to be fine. We can't do anything about it now. Let's have a look what we've got here. This is issue number 10. And actually, for the one day special, it's not just issue number 10. You're also getting the fleece fabazine as well. Now, we can't get it all in at the moment. So I'm going to stand right here and we're going to talk about the fabazine. And then we're going to talk about the fleece fabazine as well. But as a one day special, incredible value. You can go for them individually, but the value, of course, is always in the one day special. In total, you are going to get 20 projects. That's 12 within the Fabazine, issue number 10, and another eight within the Fleece. I'm already looking at some of these items thinking, mm, they look very cosy and nice. Now, individually, each one will carry a £5 saving. So, of course, if you're going for both that way, individually, that would give you £10. But you're not going to do that, because if you carry it over, so if you go for them both together as the one-day special, you've got another £10 on top. So, that's in total, that's £20 then, isn't it? Oh, and we've got Flexi as well. So, two Two payments of just thirty-four pounds and ninety-nine pence. The item number is six zero four four two seven. Can you see that little otter winking at us? Let's go through these projects, Haley, because we Who have doesn't got. Love a winky otter, though. I know it's lovely, isn't he? Every time we talk about otters, I think of Julia Watts now because she loves sea otters. Does she? She does. Yeah. They're the big ones, though, aren't they? They are, aren't they? But they're very this sweet. Is just not like a this sea one. otter. This is just a little one. Oh look, has he got? And he's winking. <laughs> Has he got a name? He has not. So if anybody wants to volunteer a name for him, then I'm, oh, he needs I'm quite happy to take it. Just one of the projects within issue number 10. So let's have a look through here. There's a couple of things intriguing me, Hayley, I've got to say. Um, does it matter where I start? I'm dying to ask. It looks like we're going to have a game of Connect Four or something. Well, you could if you wanted to. But what, we're, um, what we've given you in here is one of our swatch samplers. So it's a board, and I'll show you how to use this a little bit later on. You actually just push little samples of fabric in there so you can see how they all look together and it's a great reminder of kind of what's in your stash without having all of your stash out on display. Oh, so you take, let's call them yeah, buttons, the circles out, out, put the fabric around, push Absolutely. them back in so it keeps the fabric tight and you've got a sampler. That's that is one. such a good idea, isn't it? That really is. Let's have a look at what we've got here then, Hayley, because 12 projects within issue number 10. I mean, we've got everything here. Let's have a look at the cushion, first of all. I am not going to lean across because I know I'll knock everything over, but I'm just <laughs> dying to give that a squidge. So that is our... Um, this, it's exactly the same fabrics as we used in our first State Fair quilt. It's exactly the same um, patterns ah. that are in there. So if you want this to match with your State Fair quilt, and we've hung that up across the way so we can have a look at it a bit later on so you can see that it matches but this is a, a puff quilt technique but we've just done a smaller version and we've made it into a cushion for you that is really really squidgy i love the effect of that as well yeah it's a, it's a quite a simple technique uh, to start you off it does get a little bit more complex later on when you're kind of trying to sew puffed rows together but Fantastic. we've got some really good tips to help you out with that now, if you have got the quilt, we're going to see the sample for that now. Look, it matches perfectly. Isn't that wonderful? Absolutely gorgeous. That's just one, the cushion, of course, one project there. I'm not going to put that back at the moment because I will not think it's over. Remember, everything's pre-printed on the panel, so you just cut out the projects. You've got the full instructions in the Fabazine itself. Where should we go next? We've got right. a lovely bag here, Hayley. Yes, you have. And now that's quite heavy. I would not pick that up. I filled it with stuff. Oh. <laughs> I've got a spare one, actually. I'll run and go and I'll get it, and then I'll be able to show you the finished one. Oh. It is, it is heavy. It is heavy. I wonder what stuff she's got in here. This is lovely. I love the drawstring on the top. Of course, part of the printed panel there, so you've got those lovely colours running through there. Do we get the ribbon as well? We get everything we need, all the components. The ribbon is in there for you as well. I've got the kind Look of at that. other version. They're put together Aww. slightly differently, these two, and we'll show you how to do that to do um, different effects on them. So this obviously is your, your drawstring. You've got a square bottom with a rounded top and it all pulls in nicely so you can kind of secure everything in there and it's a really good size as well actually you can see the the squares on my mat there and that's a good kind of eight inches square 
It's a nice kind of big bag as well. Now, the other bits you've got in there, you've got your little otter, little winky otter. Now, we usually put a soft toy within a fabazine, and this time is no different, but we've done a, a kind of a really simplified version this time. All of the, <laughs> all of the um, detail is already printed on for you, and this is a really straightforward <laughs> sew. So if you've got somebody who maybe has just started, he's very shy. He is but shy. Kind of it's not right. shy with it's the wink right. as well. It's kind right. of cheeky. I'll look after you. Come on. Take care of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, I mean, you could have a lot of fun with this with somebody who was maybe oh, just look. starting to sew, just learning absolutely perfect for that and it's kind of printed both sides so you kind of you know you can see the all the <laughs> detail on there maybe oh. give it something to hold even oh do you know what you could do I've, with I've this as well in there, be careful. you could <laughs> put you could put some hook and loop on there and you, you could, could use him around bed. a curtain or something or wrap him around <laughs> a, i don't know a, a bed a bedstead uh, yeah, you know the post absolutely. that's it the post that's what or i'm trying to think hold, of make him a little fish or something and have him holding something make him a baby otter oh you could couldn't Why you not? <laughs> oh, oh i really like oh we need a name for him definitely another project that oh, i'm sorry for waving him about there i'm gonna okay. just <laughs> waving and it's gonna all shut again now right we'll keep going because we've got more projects of course we to have. show you so, so the next one the is, next one is a whopper of a pin cushion now this oh. one's done as a book so the, the way this one works, it's quite a, a, a more kind of skillful sew to get this one together, but really, really cool. And you can get a huge amount in here. Why not take it a step further, maybe add a pocket onto the inside so you can put a pack of needles in there. Yeah. Maybe put some elastic on there as well so you can kind of hold other bits and pieces in. So it's, it's just like a full book. There's, there's that is so in it clever, isn't it? Do you know, everybody's loving and this, Hayley. We've lost 20% of the sample. stock. To already? Yeah, so the one day oh special. Dear. That really is a whopper of a pincushion, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, definitely you've got options with that as well. Do you know, I'm thinking straight away, I know I've said this before when it comes to the Fabazines, but for someone that's starting out on their sewing journey, you've got so much here, yeah, so many is. different techniques. You don't have to worry about choosing your fabrics. It's all there, it's all pre-printed. Precisely, and it's, it's a good way to, to learn new techniques. We always try and put different techniques in each time. And it's a good way to kind of have a go at lots of different things without having to commit to going and finding the you know the six or seven different fabrics you need and going to buy the templates and going to buy everything that you need to make them in the one day special if you take all 20 of those projects and divide them by the one day special price it's less than three pounds fifty a project wow wow and you don't have to rush through this you can choose i think i've asked you this before does the same apply when it comes to the projects there's nothing that's you don't have to work your way up. You don't have to start with an easy and work. Are they pretty much um, there on are, a par? There are a couple that are a little more okay. complex than others. Um, we never kind of say start here and, and go along, but um, I think you can kind of see which ones are a little bit more straightforward. And what we would say is look at the instructions. Have a look. If you think you can manage it, absolutely go for it. Um, if you can't, do some of the easier ones and then come back to the more complex ones because you and get And something there. like the next one that I'm holding as well, of course you don't even need a sewing machine, you can take that you know, on your journeys, take it to work with you, sit on the train or Absolutely. the bus. That one's got a mixture of embroidery and um, colouring in there as well, so you've got a, a good I've mixture. lost count how many we've been through, I know we haven't finished, we've still got <laughs> more haven't we? Let's have a look what else well, we've down, got in here. Down on the bottom here, there, you've got a little wallet, you've oh, got yes. a yep. little, oh this is a good one, this is the triangle pouch that's coming up next, now this one, um, Attractor's made this one and she's added a uh, hook and loop to this one. We do say to sew them in place, but you can add hook and loop if you want to, oh, like to make that. them all removable. So you've got four little triangle pouches, which all fold up together to make a little square. I like that. I think that's one of my favourite ones, actually. Okay. I really like Excellent. that. Excellent. Um, you've also got a little wallet in there and you've got a little shopping kind of list holder as well, not within the triangle thing. No, no, with, within, within the fabazine itself. Which we are going to get to. <laughs> amazing, amazing. 12 projects, remember, part of the one day special, we haven't even got to the fleece fabazine yet. So the, the lovely triangle pouch that we've just seen there, you can see on the printout, you can see the components that are required to make that, of course. So um, that yeah. little one you can see, um, well, in, in a second you'll see, that one with the shopping list on. But then I wrote something else sideways, 18th of February. Oh, that's the next, I think that might be the next one. <laughs> <laughs> I was using it, you see. Um, so, on the front there, and you get the little 
notepad included in this so it's frank pre-sized ready to go for you so you get that included if you turn it over then what you'll see on the back is there's a pocket in the center so you can put like a shopping bag or you know other bits and pieces in there and then you've also got space for a pen or you know if you've got a, a loyalty card for the store everything is there so it's a kind of easy one to keep in your bag for whenever you need to go How shopping. There's clever. Plastic How bag clever is well. this? Look at this. That is such a good idea. I love it. Nice little gifts as well. Uh, so there we are. We've got our shopping list. We'll not forget that date then, will we? The 18th of February. Now the quilt <laughs> that you can also see here, that is also included in issue number 10 as well. Yeah, so you're getting the template for that. So okay. you do need to add your own fabric for that, but you do get the template to be able to make so that So is this a perspex we've got yes, here then? Yes, that's Ooh. the uh, acrylic that you've got there. And any of the little bits that you've seen, because, oh, there should be a lanyard behind you <gasps> There well. certainly is. I found it. So all of the little bits and pieces that you see, we put all of those extra bits and pieces in there for you. So the only thing that I would say is not in there is a tractor's obviously added hook and loop tape to make her pouches come out. We recommend you stitch them in. Um, and the, what's the other thing that isn't in there? The fabric to make your quilt. That's the only Fantastic. two things that aren't in there. Right, I have got the wallet here as well. We've had a quick look at that. I'm just going to hold it up so you can see. We have got the sample, but we've got also the fleece fabazine if you are going for the one day special. So 12 there, but when it comes to the fleece fabazine, we've got another eight projects. Now, I love anything that's tactile. Yeah, this, this one's been really, really fun. And um, the, the, there's so many in here that I think are great. This one looks nothing when you're holding it there, but... I think this one is one of my favourite things that I have made. So it is, a f it's like a, a fingerless glove. It does actually extend up if you want it to be. Say if you've got a gilet on, you could extend the fluffy bit up so you can okay. have it kind of right up to your elbow if you wanted. But there is a space on the palm, which is a little pocket, and there's <laughs> instructions to make little heat pads to go in the little pocket. That is such a clever idea. And when I saw this... Because I suffer with rain ads, so I yeah, quite often have perfect, issues with um, circulation. But I've never done this. I promise I've never done this. But I did think, oh, if you're doing any exams and you want to cheat, you've got a little <laughs> pocket there to hide the answers. That is... <laughs> don't ever do that. Don't, I don't think you'd be allowed to wear do your gloves. Do I have to do the announcement? Please do not listen to Catherine. Uh, she's naughty. She shouldn't have said that. <laughs> the craft store do not condone cheating in any form. <laughs> and back to you. <laughs> oh dear. Do you know no, what? You know it's bad <laughs> when I have to be the one to do the warning because it's usually me being the naughty one and somebody else with the warning. Oh, this is a special dear. day. Now, I feel very proud <laughs> of myself now. Something else that seems very, very cosy actually is something that I've got right here, the snood. Now that, that would be lovely if you wear it underneath your coat yeah, so it keeps your shoulders warm. It's kind warm. of designed to go underneath the coat and just have that little bit of yeah. warmth on the neck. But there are three different ways you can put this together. So when you get to the actual uh, instructions in the booklet, it shows you three different ways to put it together. Yeah. I would drive wearing that because sometimes when you're driving, especially if you've got to drive a long way, it's too bulky in a coat, but you need just something. And I think you've got or something around your neck. Yeah. And that, uh, the seatbelt rubs because you can't ever get it quite right. Very true. Very true. Right, we've still got more because, oh, the cushion. The cushion, the knot cushion. Isn't that fab? That looks, do you know, I could see my dog sitting on that. They'd love that. <laughs> it took, I will say, I think that took me more time to stuff than it took me to make the entire next item. Really? It took me an age to stuff that. That looks complicated, um, is it? It isn't. It's one great big long sausage. It's the stuffing that takes the time. But I have a new technique for you which will help to do that a bit quicker and we'll show you that tomorrow. Okay, next one. I found some more gloves. <laughs> no? Puppets. No gloves. No puppets. <laughs> Boots. Reversible slipper these socks or seem welly warmers. very, very you know, cosy and warm. I was making these the other day and um, somebody said, oh, are they for wellies? Can I have them? I'm like, no, I need them for a show. <laughs> I might have to, you're going to have to watch these because I might be pinching and them as well. And these are reversible as well. Oh, what are they? Oh, yes. fantastic. So you can have either the fluffy on the inside or you can have the fluffy on the outside. Fantastic. I'm going to she's, reverse she's that reversing. as we look at something else. So, <laughs> oh, we've got another little teddy bear here yes, as well. Yes, teddy bear. I've made that one in a fleece. Um, now, remember, 
within this bundle you are getting uh, 70 centimeters oh. in the white fleece 70 centimeters in the gray and 70 centimeters in the fur as well so we're, tomorrow we're going to make this little guy in the fur so you can see the difference but obviously you can put these in any color you like because you are getting the full templates for these so this one i've done in a different color just so you can see that you can put them in any color oh like. he's lovely and his his legs move as well now we've also oh the little fox at the beginning fro uh, proggy we've got proggy for you as well yes, haven't we have so this now gives the bag. you all of the techniques so i've just brought the bag as a as a sample you've got all the techniques in there and you get what more importantly all the tools and that's what you really need because probably is is so simple that once you get the hang of it you'll be absolutely away so what you need to do is you need the tools to be able to get you there wow now this is going to be very very apt isn't it by the time we get to june you know what's happening it's the jubilee isn't it this year so <laughs> we've got the wonderful union jack there for you another project from this particular um fleece fabazine part of the one day special as i say individually you can get these but the value definitely within the one day special itself right what else have we got then so uh, so there's another there's an oso blanket in there as well and i think we're nearly there yes yeah, so there's the the gloves the hand warmers you've got the boots in there you've got the cowl in there you've got the oh i'm missing so many people and so many um i'm missing four you've got the boots haven't got them on you've got so many i forgot fantastic there we are so everything under that one item number 604427 is the item number remember there is a saving carried over from the individuals five pounds on each of those we're giving you another ten pounds on top now we've also got some happy hour deals now we need to tell you about these because of course these are only relevant for this hour only if you missed out on it and you don't need to go for the other issues but you can go for issue number five with a ten pound saving today 39.99 same principle lots and lots of projects in there 12 projects in total all those printouts all those elements included 463174 is the item number now we've also got the weaving fabazine that's on a happy hour deal a five pound saving on this one only 24.99 669 669 is the item number there and then we have now i know this is a good deal i happened to see these the other day this is such a good deal now you've got 96 pieces in total so you've got the eyes the safety eyes with the little washers included there 10 pounds saving wow that is a good deal nine pounds and 98 pence 923 953 is the item number those prices will go up at seven o'clock so make sure you check those out now the one day special 30% of the stock has already gone. I am not surprised. It is such a good way to get so many projects. Whether you're a beginner or not, there is something for everybody. You could gift what you make as well. Within issue number 10, that's 12 gifts. You've got another eight if you're going for the one day special because you've got the fleece fabazine there as well two payments of 34 pounds and 99 pence is the price that's all you need to pay today for using the flexi buy 604427 now every one of the projects that we've mentioned you can go for individually you will well you can see straight away now you can really see the value can't you in the one day special if you break it down it works out at three pounds and 50 pence each doesn't get much better than that does it wow yeah lots and lots of you are going for this let's get over to Haley though for a demonstration what okay can I see first, then, so Hayley? we're gonna go for the boots first off okay. because i think this is the one that's going to be the most popular so what i have done is um i'm i will do it so it's the fluffy side out but in order to see it a little bit more clearly when we're sewing i'm actually going to sew uh, on the white one because there's a lot of fluff everywhere <laughs> and um, it's a lot easier to see where i'm going on the white okay. so first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to take there's four parts this so there's a, a long skinny rectangle that will form the back of the boot there's the short fat rectangle that will form the front that goes um kind of up the front on top of the toe yeah uh, there's the sole of the boot and there's this piece which is the toe of the boot so first okay. thing we're going to do is get rid of these for a second and we're going to work with these two pieces so with the fleece you'll have um, a right side and a wrong side so the right side is the side that is fluffier that has a bit more pile to it and the wrong side will be flatter okay oh, yeah. so what you're going to do is you're going to lay those on top of each other and i'm going to line up because what i did was just fold these in half and i used a pen 
just to mark those halfway points on both pieces. So I'm going to line those up and then I'm going to pop a pin in there just to hold those in position. And then from here, I'm going to take that side ah. across to there. Now this we is a busy really... Hayley, 40% of the stock has gone. This is a really nice way to work because fleece is a lovely introduction to dressmaking because yeah. it's so forgiving. Yeah, it's when not you work fraying, with is it? it? You're not it getting those fray. threads coming you off the edges. You haven't got kind of bits everywhere. It, it's a knit fabric, so it flexes and stretches quite easily. So it's a really nice way to work. So I'm going to pop a couple more uh, pins in there. So I'm just going to give that a little pull to make that kind of what we'd call locally straight. Okay. Okay, yeah. so that what was a curve has now made a, a nice little straight line there. And I'm going to pop a pin in there. You can use pins, you can use clips, it's entirely up to you. So we're doing the same on the other side and pop one in there. And then I'm going to put a straight line all the way along. So I've got a blue thread in here, so hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm doing. Now these are uh, dressmaking patterns, so they'll work on a 5 8 inch seam allowance. I usually do about a half inch. And then if I need to go and tighten anything up, I'll go back in. It's okay. a lot easier to do that than, you know, use a 5 8 and go over and then be too far. Got you. The fleece is Can I ask thick. about the needle in your machine as well? With it being yes. a fleece, do you need a special needle? Uh, no, you don't need a special needle. Uh, this one actually needs changing, if I'm honest, because it's getting a bit blunt. And you can Ooh. hear when it goes in, it goes ka -chunk. That It's <gasps> just getting blunt and it needs I changing. I saw Jenny with some macaroons earlier that make them sharp. Oh, she's got magic things. Yeah. Oh. I've never seen them before. Oh, the macaroons? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know them. No. I, I'm very familiar with the macaroon. <laughs> I think we've done them on a... I think we've done them on a show before, actually. Oh, not on one of mine. So I'm going to take that I've never there. seen them before today. And this is where that little curve comes in. So I'm just going to slowly take it around that little curve at the bottom, up to the pin, whip that out, leaving the needle down, and then just rearrange it so it's coming around the other side and just making sure that everything that's coming underneath my needle here so all these bits that are just about to go under the needle are nice and flat and then we'll come around that little curve again and then now we should be on the straight piece oh Hayley everyone's loving this half of the stock of the one day special has already gone we're only 22 minutes in it's the fluffy wow. boots i'm telling you it's the best thing we've ever done <laughs> <laughs> right coming right off the end there and i'm just going to clip that off now immediately you will start to see that boot yeah. shape coming in it's like instant you see it and i think that inspires yeah. you and, and helps you on with the next bit so from here we're going to add the back to the boot so that was our uh, tall skinny piece it's taller because it has to stretch across both the toe piece and the oh, piece that I we've see. added here so what i'm going to do is put that face up and then pop that one make sure i've got the right side so that's face up as well okay and i'm going to take it over to one side you know where you've stitched the curve, Hayley, and you said yeah. because the fleece is very forgiving. Normally, if it was a different sort of fabric, you'd do little notches. Do we not even no, have to do that? You don't even have to do that with fleece. Ooh. It will, um, it will kind of look after. It will look after you quite well, fleece. So it's a, it's a really nice way to kind of introduce yourself to a bit of dressmaking. So at the bottom here, I'm going to put another pin, and then I'm just going to stretch. Well, not even stretch it. Just kind of slowly work my way along. Yeah. Make sure that that's sitting nice and evenly. Uh, pop one there, and then this seam here. I'm just going to push that open, because otherwise we're going to end up with quite a lot of bulk. Okay, so it's important the to open the that out. That's so all in the instructions, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, we're going to push that open, and then whack another couple of pins in there I've put the pins on the wrong side it should be on the other side but I'll manage oh that's a blunt pin Jenny there's another one for you <laughs> <laughs> uh, that one's blunt as well that's fine okay so one side now you can pin these both together at the same time if you want to if not oh before before I do that I've got that the wrong way up I've just noticed there, that's my fluffy side Oh. So before I do, I mean, this is the lining, so it wouldn't be the end of the world anyway. No, it was right. Oh, I've second guessed <laughs> myself. No, that's definitely <laughs> correct. Okay. Well, this time I've got a chance to put my pins in the right way around. So you want to do top and bottom, and then one in the middle, and then one either side of that seam, just to 
keep that seam allowance open because the the advantage of the fleece is that it's really nice and easy to work with the disadvantage is if you've got something that's not quite sitting right you can't iron it and get away with it that way no. <laughs> so um, do remember that this is a polyester fabric so you can't you can take a cool iron to it but you can't kind of you know but it's not going to crease is it? it doesn't really crease in the first place so then I'm going to do the same on the other side just bring that up to there and then pull oh, the Hayley, pins in. Oh, 60% of the stock has gone. Oh, Bridget's going to go mad. She's going to be ever so busy. <laughs> She's got a lot of cutting to do. I think everybody's realising the value for money. I mean, do you know, it, do you know what I think? If I you, think it's three pound fifty per project. Well, Twenty projects in total. And there's two boots. There's, there's two, like there's one pound seventy-five a boot. <laughs> there's two boots. <laughs> there is. <laughs> two gloves, two boots. <laughs> two gloves. <laughs> you could even, if you've got a piece of scrap, you could even make two otters, I think, because you could have one that's got its back to you <laughs> and one with well, the winky eye at the front. You a could, you could these, stretch it. A lot of these projects you can stretch even further if you want to and yeah. you can do kind of doubles of them by adding some of your own fabric into the mix. So I'm going to pop that in there and I'm going to take it to the machine and we'll just do the same again so five eighths inch seam allowance yep. however i would use a, a half for the, the meantime okay see yep. where you get to and then you can you can always kind of add a bit more if you think you need to and of course when it comes to something like the boot as well you've got this full size templates haven't you so you can make more oh afterwards. yeah you can make everything in the fleece one comes with fabric. its own template so you can repeat make these as uh, as much as you like Oh, the whole family could have a pair of these boots. <laughs> Different colours. <laughs> yeah, but then it leads onto other things, doesn't it? You can put embellishments on, maybe put binding around the top. Put, oh, absolutely. Put bells you and can, uh, you ribbon can... on them, bows and pom-poms. Once you've got the hang of it, and these are super simple to make, uh, once you've got the hang of it, you can make as many of these as you like because you've got the template. I'm just going to... Flip that foot up just to squidge that Hayley, down. Hayley, is there any stretch in the actual fluffy bit, the, the fleece? The, the fluffy? The fur? The fur. No, the... there's no stretch in that. It is a knitted fabric. Okay. Um, so sometimes you can get a little bit of stretch in a knitted fabric, but that one's actually kind of quite rigid because of all the But that the, means the then if there's there. no, um, so to speak, there's not really a stretch in there. That means you could work with almost any fabric to make these boots. Oh, absolutely. Because the so size if you has been created cotton, to allow yeah, if you wanted for them to, to be pulled on and off. cotton on one side and fleece in the, uh, on the inside, absolutely. If you wanted to do it in a, a jersey or something like that, jersey's a really good one because, again, yeah. that's got a little bit of stretch. Do you know what I might do is if people want me to, I will see if I can get um, a fleece pick and mix added tomorrow. Ooh. And uh, I'll, I'll have a word with the guys at Fabric Freedom and see if they've got any jerseys here that we could add on as well because they, these are all fantastic fabrics to kind of do this in. And this is a, I think this is such a nice way to get into um, kind of dressmaking because it's so straightforward. You've got four pieces, most of which are, you know, straight lines or can be made to be straight lines. And it gets... I think the fact that the results are so instant with this. Now, I am going quite slowly here, and this is because with a fleece, because um, it's quite big and it's quite bulky, it's a lot easier to go on a more steady pace because if you go too quickly, what will happen is the top layer will move faster than the uh, bottom layer right, okay. or vice versa, and you'll end up at the top and you'll end up with one that's about half an inch longer than the other. Now, if that happens, it's not the end of the world. This is fleece, you can just trim it down and away you go. But I would advise a good kind of steady pace with this yeah. is going to give you better results. Okay, so, so tortoise, not a hair, maybe setting exactly. on your, so your machine. That's our oh, guess how boot. much has gone, Hayley? Over 70% of the entire stock has gone. This is your one day special, individually available, yes, but five pounds carried over from each of those individually and we're giving you another 10 pounds on top and you're getting that flexi as well. So you are making huge savings. I don't even need reminding, three pound 50 per project it works out at. You can find every project individually on the website, but some of them, I mean, we've seen them there, 12.99, 15.99, 16.99 even. So make sure that if you're liking what you're seeing, you're checking those baskets out. Oh, my word, this is busy. And remember, with your fleece one, you're getting a 
70 centimeters of each of the fleeces, so the, the gray and the white, and yeah. you're also getting 70 centimeters of your fur. Now, that is enough to cover all of the projects that are in there. However, if you decide that you want to make, you know, a couple of pairs of boots and then do one in another fleece, then absolutely can. Okay. And think about recycling fleece yeah. as well, because there's loads of kind of That's fleece jackets, or you may have had an old fleece blanket or yeah. something like that. All of that can be reworked into all of these projects. So, Hayley, one question I'm sure lots of people are, are wondering uh -huh. out there is, because obviously, well, I'm saying obviously, what sort of foot size will these fit? Because they're exactly going to fit multiple people. That's exactly where I'm people. coming to, oh. look, I've got the bottom. Okay. Right. So, if you um, sew these with a 5 eighths inch seam allowance, this should be about a size of 5 to 6 oh. foot. So, okay. if you have smaller feet, like some of us do, then you can actually come in a bit further yeah. and just trim off the excess when you come round the outside. If you've got larger feet, you can sew a slightly smaller seam allowance and you'll get it to be a little bit bigger. Now, I would, um, I mean, I don't know how, what the biggest on that is. I would say the biggest you'd get away with is probably about a size eight. Okay. But that's, that's a, a kind of size, guesstimate though. on yeah. this. They are a kind of one size fits all yeah. kind of thing. But um, that's what I'm guessing. I'll find some people with some feet tomorrow. <laughs> well, obviously, everybody's got feet. That's well, ridiculous. Like to, I, I think we've all got feet, um, Hayley, but feet? whether they're any useful. Actually, I'm a five to six. Do you so want to give first a I, 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 Do you know, I'm going to have to give some updates first. <laughs> I might, do you know, I might just take one of my boots off ready. I'm going to tell you we've got limited stock. <laughs> Limited oh, got stock. Laces and I've got laces and everything, yeah. Uh, limited stock on the one day special, 604427. Do you know what's going to happen now? I've taken a boot off. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, oh, I didn't oh, even get dear. the boot on, and guess what, Hayley? Oh, see, they fit. Hang on, hang on. Oh, oh. hang on. <laughs> they fit. Oh, they fit. There you go. I can't get it any higher than that, I'm afraid. Can you get it oh, down? <laughs> technical sellout. That means that all stock is allocated in baskets. Oh, my word. Um, oh, poor Bridget. I can, I can hear the phone calls now. I can hear... Bridget, I'm so sorry. Right, OK. We have got some extended delayed I mean, we stock. Had loads to it's going to be with, seven though. days. 26th of January is the dispatch from date. You're, they're already gone. You've found them. I did want to bring this in as well. Because you can make little ankle boots as yeah, well, absolutely. just turning you them down. You can turn these down, you can kind I of like you can have them up, you can have them down. And remember, you can change these. If you've got some spare fleece, if you've got um, really anything, what any fabric will work for this. Any fabric. Yeah. And what I am going to show you like is how to put the bottom on. And then I know that our uh, lovely friends at Fabric Freedom have added this onto our show somewhere. This is a non-slip um, fabric. It's, it's like a net that's then rubberized, but it's non-slip, which means brilliant for the bottoms. Brilliant. You see, brilliant and I've got a lot of tiled I've floors made. that can get very slippy, and they're cold, because I'm, you know, it's cold, I'm in a cottage. It's, these are going to be great if you're walking around, and you've got slippy that, surfaces. Oh, my word. Right, the non-slip material, only 9 99 five pounds saving there. You're getting half a metre, That's 47 inches wide. It doesn't look exciting, but it is going to be a game changer, this one. 630651. I'm trying to work out how many pairs of slippers that would do you. I reckon that would do at least half a dozen pairs of slippers. You, you know sometimes when you've got your slippers or your shoes and you can take the inner sole out, would that yes. be a good way of using that as a template to get your size right yeah. as well? I mean, if, you, if you've got the insole from your shoe, then that would give you an idea of where you need to be. And what I would do is mark it on the back and do at least a half an inch, well, half an inch overall bigger. Yeah. So a uh, like quarter inch at the front, quarter inch at the back. That would give you a really good kind of guide for a good fit. Yeah. But to be honest, I mean, I, I was wearing them bigger anyway because a lot of places that do slipper socks do them one size there's nothing to stop you um you know having this and maybe even knitting or crocheting pieces that are the same shape and size as your patterns I like and having that. a knitted slash crocheted version i like that i like <laughs> that a lot <laughs> Right. Well, let's, we let's, are very, very done, busy. That's all I can say. We're very busy. We're into okay. it's the launch show. 
Oh, look, they've got sold 25 minutes. Well, a bit less than that on this show. But we've sold out of the one-day special. It's back on extended delivery, a seven-day delay. Poor Bridget. She's back at work. She's, she's working I hard. Mean, can um, I just say, Lewis knows Bridget, and he knows how unhappy she's going to be oh, in the morning. Oh, dear. Oh dear, we're expecting the emails now. Uh, 604427 is the item. We do take advantage, of course, of, uh, of that flexi. That means if you're going for the non slip, if you're going for any of the happy hours, don't forget those happy hour deals because the price will go up at 7 o'clock. We've got three of them available. We've got the Fabazines, we've got the toy eyes with the washes as well, the safety eyes. So lots and lots for you to choose from. Anything else that you're putting into your basket at all, if you've got that flexi basket open, you can split the cost. But think about the value for money. The one day special itself, 12 projects within the Fabazine, that's issue number 10. Another eight projects within the Fleece Fabazine. And those boots, I've got to tell you, they are so warm and cosy. That's using the fabric that is included to make those, the fleece and the fur, it's all there for you. What a fantastic bundle this is, 604427. We do make sales in between the shows as well. Hayley will be back at 8 o'clock tonight. There'll be repeats throughout yet. the... I know you haven't. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not trying to get rid of you. It did <laughs> sound a bit like that, didn't it? That I'm, I'm trying to yet. close the show. <laughs> yeah, we will get back to Hayley in a second, but I just know how busy it is, Hayley. And if you don't check your baskets out, you may miss out. Oh, Bridget. Right, back to you, Hayley. OK, so now we need to get the bottom onto these boots. So I have done the same principle as I did right at the beginning, where I folded the back in half and just marked it where that was, and then did the same at the toe, folded it in half, lined it up, marked it, and then did the same process on the actual sole piece of the boot. From there, um, I'm going to just slowly work my way around because this should be exactly the same size as you have on the bottom there so you're going to work your way around slowly and the reason you pin top and bottom first is that if there is any discrepancy you've got an even discrepancy each side uh, yeah. and then you can kind of shuffle things around to to make it work and again fleece super forgiving so you should be able to have no problems with this at all you know the non-slip Yes. fabric that we've got would that work would that be good on things like placemats and that as well you know yes. you've got fabric so, ones and uh, surfaces under kind of plant pots under things basically things you don't want to, to, to move. move or under rugs as well it's really yeah, good that's rugs good that point. are on hard floors that's a really good buy isn't it half a meter for it's 47 inches wide 9.99 bottom of the screen for that one six three zero six five one so definitely something even if you're not sure what you're going to use it for now maybe you want to put it on your boots maybe you don't but it's definitely one of those pro products that's really really useful yeah absolutely and uh this again you can see it comes together really really quickly and i personally will sew this with another uh, quarter inch seam allowance but because this is just kind of standalone you don't need to worry about sewing this uh, at a different seam allowance to the sides. Oh no, she's thought of something. I, she's got a giggly I've, face on. I've, got, I've, I've just got this vision of my four little dogs all wearing little boots and on slip <laughs> on the bottom. <laughs> Honestly, I can just, because they do, they run in and out and sometimes they have little skids and I can just imagine Oh, them. is that you're going to be your solution? <laughs> boots with non slip? <laughs> little fluffy boots it's for fluffy the little boots. fluffy Why legs. Not? Why not? And non slip on the bottom. You have to get some white, <laughs> white fur so they match. So you can't tell they've got them on. <laughs> oh, I so would make them as well. You, I know you would. You've not got the time, Catherine. You've not got the time. Oh. <laughs> right, OK, we're pinned. So uh, it's a case of stitching this round. And again, slow and steady is definitely advisable with this because you kind of want to get your, your accuracy right. So let's pop that all over there. Now, you can sew this either way up. Now, I prefer to sew it that way up so I can see the full thing. Okay. Sometimes people find it easier to sew this way up because then the actual kind of um, leg of the boot is kind of out of your okay. way a little bit more. So whatever you know you're what? comfortable let's with, no right or I'm wrong. I'm going to go this way up, um, but now my pins are the wrong way up, but that's fine <laughs> because I've left them sticking out. So... <laughs> Do you know what? There's no pleasing some people. <laughs> There's no pleasing some people. You do it the way that you think it's going to be easier. Now, you said about snipping things before. I am actually going to just put a little snip in where I put those marks for the okay. toe just to yeah. allow that to turn a little bit more. Let me just pull it out and show you there. I've just done two little snips in there. You don't have to just because they were there. Yeah. I did them. Um, but you don't 
have to. You, you'll realise if you need to do that oh, or yeah, not, you'll, you'll or where to it's do it. You'll realise it's a bit too yeah. tight and you'll, you'll well, need to do them. Do you know, the restock is so, also very, very busy, Hayley. Almost 10% of the extended stock has already gone as well. It is literally flying. Right, okay, back to you, let's Hayley. Let's do it. So let's get under there and I'm popping that down. I'm just going to try and fold this out of the way just to keep Chris happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've missed Mr. Baker. <laughs> and I'm going to pull my, uh, my pedal out because that disappeared underneath. Right, so I've got it on my quarter inch line. I'm starting on what I would consider to be the straightest edge because that's going to help me in a little bit because uh, if I get a nice kind of start off run on a straight edge, then it makes it a lot easier later on. So again, I'm going to go nice and slow. Just make sure the bit that's going to head under my machine is nice and flat because that's the most important bit. This because fleece does kind of want to move about a little bit because it it is quite fluffy and it wants to stick to one side, wants to stick to the other. Sometimes go a little bit faster than the other, and you just take it slowly, and away you go. So we're going to get round to the toe in a minute, and then I'm just keeping. What I'm looking at is I'm keeping an eye between this piece here and the line that's printed on my sewing machine. Now, if you don't have lines printed on your sewing machine, then a really good tip is just to put a piece of tape on ah. at your um, half inch line. Well, that is a good idea. And then you're aiming to keep the distance between the needle. I'm not looking at this piece in the front. I'm looking at the pit that's actually right next to my needle, directly opposite my needle and trying okay. to keep that in line with my half inch line. Let's get rid of that pin and then oh, let's just pull my bob in there a little bit. Nice and slowly and the more slow and even you can take it, the better result that you'll end up with. So I'm going to need a minute just to get around the rest of this. Okay. Well, what we'll do we'll then, we'll have a quick reminder. Fantastic. Let's have a quick reminder of the one day special. So 20 projects in total. The pre-printed panel is for the projects in the Fabazine issue number 10. There's 12 projects there. Then when it comes to the fleece Fabazine, of course, you've got another eight projects. I'm going to bring those boots in again, just so you can see the difference. Because you do get the fleece, you do get the fur. If you want them as full length boots, you can do. If you want to turn the top over, you can do. If you want to change the size, you can do. You know, you've got the template so you can reuse it. The total reversible as well they're really really cozy do not forget about the non-slip i think if you are going to wear them as nice warm slippers that do think about definitely going for that bottom of the screen we've still got the details for you there so when it comes to the fabazines if you're going for them individually you're quite welcome to do that you can do that but you're getting five pounds saving on each of those going for the one day special we're keeping those five pounds savings that means of course that we have got 10 pounds there but we're going to give you another 10 pounds on top as well that is saving you 20 pounds in total it works out because there's 20 projects in total at three pounds and 50 pence per project then don't forget you have things like this all the templates so once you've got the templates and you've created with the materials that are included then of course you can reuse the templates as well you can recreate in different fabrics you know if you're a beginner this is fantastic because there's so much and you haven't got to worry about going to different types of shops and finding haberdashery stores to find all those materials it's all there for you you can bring Break it up. You can create gifts with this. You can, you know, if you are someone who is a little bit more intermediate or even more professional at sewing and you're looking for quick projects or something a little bit different, then it applies to absolutely everybody. There's no instructions that say start at the beginning and work your way through. You can decide which project you work with first. It's all there. You've got the choices. 604427 is the item number. Remember, in total, it's a £20 saving. We're giving you flexi as well. £34.99. Definitely add some of that non-slip in there if you can do because you can split, of course, the cost there. Now, you imagine... You imagine this arriving, I mean, straight from the packaging, you know, as long as you've got your thread to go. And you can hand sew as well, Hayley, can't you? You don't have to Absolutely. do everything on you a sewing machine. You don't have to have a machine. Um, obviously, a lot of people maybe got machines for Christmas or, you know, have something that they want to test out on the machine. But you don't have to have a machine. You can hand sew any of these projects. None of them are Brilliant. You know, so complex that you couldn't.
Love it, love it, love it, love it. And then, of course, you want to add further embellishments. That's entirely up to you. You've got, of course, the embroidery in the uh, issue 10 as well. So that's something that is really portable. So, you know, it's just amazing. I'm going to pick up, actually, issue number 10. Let's have a little look because this is the book, of course, that's going to have those 12 projects in. Don't forget, oh, there's our lovely little otter again. Our little winking otter. We've got the quilt in there. Let's just open up. There's the little wallet. I mean, really clear step by step instructions. Really easy to read these. And looking at the diagrams, if you're a visual learner as well, you know, amazing. I love the drawstring bag. I've got to say, I love every project, but the drawstring bag, I think, is just the size of it is fantastic. Whether you keep yarn in there, socks in there, <laughs> dogs' toys in there, it doesn't matter. It's just a really useful bag. We've got the bouquet in there. Oh, have we not got that? I've not no, seen the bouquet. Well, that. That's coming tomorrow, that <gasps> one. So it shows you, um, you get a load of sticks in there, a load of sticks. That makes no sense, the oh. work kind of does. But you do get some, some sticks and you also get the fabric as well to create little bows and then you put them all together and oh. make a bouquet. Oh, that is so clever, isn't it? So if you can't it? have flowers, you know. You know, and you okay. oh, just use them individually as embellishments as well. We've got the lanyard in there, 12 projects. The shopping list organiser is such a good idea again. Uh, and it just goes on and on. The swatch board, fantastic. Lovely, lovely, clear instructions. Over 10% of the extended stock has now gone. That was just issue number 10 that I flicked through there. So uh, when you get the fleece as well, the fleece fabazine, eight projects in here including the boots including that lovely knot cushion which looks so so squidgy as well there it is the knotted pillow that looks intriguing you've got the bear in there oh and this little legs move and everything look how clear these instructions are they're so well put together josh spends a lot of time um doing the diagrams and what he will usually do is um we'll do or i'll do a video of the the project and then from that he'll make um, all of the, these bits here, which explain how to put it together, because that's the, fi the way he finds it's easiest to work. And I Hang think on. He get... isn't, because he isn't a sewer, yeah. um, that's why I think the instructions are so good, because I think that he knows how, it, well, if, if he can understand it as a non-sewer, then it, it makes sense that as, a, as you know, sewers or non-sewers, anybody should be able to do it. Do you know, that, so we get the instructions for the hand yeah. warmers as well as the fleece gloves? Yeah. I have How the little hand warmers clever. here. They're How so clever. How clever. A no-sew blanket in there. <laughs> There's the neck cowl. I really like the neck cowl, actually. And proggy. Proggy. We get... Oh, we love proggy. If you've never done it before, that is so much fun. Such wow. a useful one for using up all of your scraps as well. And not just scraps of fleece, it can be scraps of anything. I've got Amazing. 10 minutes now to get these boots finished, so I'm going to need uh, just a second to get this okay. other one together. Well, I can tell everybody then... that almost 20% of the extended stock has now gone as well. We are extremely busy. Uh, don't wait until later. As I say, we do make sales in between shows. We make sales over out. I don't know. We've already sold out of the initial stock. We're on extended delivery now. It's only a week to wait. The value remains the same. The saving remains the same. You can be planning ahead. Think of which project you're going to do first. Now, happy hour deals. Don't forget, we've also got... Now, I, I particularly like this next one. That's probably because I crochet and I use a lot of these myself, but I think that is a fantastic deal. Grab these with a £10 saving. Just 9 98 is going to get you 96 pieces. So you've got, of course, they could be used as noses and dyes. So you might use a pair for eyes. You might use one for a nose. You've got the washers to go with them. 923 953 is the item number. The price will go up at 7 o'clock. Another happy hour deal. So again, the price will go up at 7 is the uh, Crafty Cell Silly Weaving Fabazine. Only 24 Four ninety nine for this. You've got a five pound saving today. The principle is the same. You get all those ingredients, so to speak. There, you've got the fabazine as well. Uh, so all the instructions included. Then we have issue number five. Perhaps you've been collecting them. Maybe you've missed one or two. Maybe you've never seen these before. You don't have to have gone for all the fabazines. You can go for any of the numbers. It doesn't mean that it's a progression. It just means you get different projects every yeah. time. Completely yeah. Me. There's nothing that Fantastic. continues all the way through these. So, um, and I must say, numbers one to six are uh, we're not making any more. 
okay. of those. So that will be the last oh, time so you see Oh, so number five, definitely grab it now. The anti-slip. Whether you're putting this on your boots or slippers or using it for some, another purpose or you just want to keep it in stock because it's really, really, really useful. Five pounds saving. Half the stock has gone on this one. Nine ninety-nine. You can multi-buy if you want, but nine ninety-nine is going to get you half a metre, but it's 47 inches wide. Six three zero six five one. Right. Let's head back I to Hayley. I am just about to sew the uh, the base into this one so it's the exactly the same principle as we had before but I'm gonna have to do this one a little bit quicker and you need to just bear in mind that this fabric is even stickier than the um, some of the fleece so you've got two options when you're working with this one is that you can um, put some tape onto your foot and that will stop it from sticking to the fabric or okay. you can use something like a knit foot which will kind of pounce along with the fabric and stop it from sticking to your foot you can get things like roller feet they work really well as well so um I don't know that I'm going to get this done in time, you know. My mum used to have a non-slip material minutes. on a, a tray when she used to take my, da my dad's uh, dinner to him. Used yeah. To, yeah stop it sliding about. It wasn't very mobile, so she'd have to take it on a tray, and it, yeah, it stopped things moving. Also, I had um, sort of a truck for um, all my utensils and paintbrushes. There was some non-slip in the bottom of that. That really helped stop things rolling yeah. around. So, you know, you know it's not just soft crafts. I could do with a whole lot of it in the back of my car. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you know, that's a really the good point. In, and then yeah. stuff just slides about. That's a good point. Not that I'm taking, you know, corners terribly sharply or anything. <laughs> I'm not, I promise. <laughs> but it would be handy. <laughs> Well, it's because I changed the car and I got a bigger boot and now stuff just slides about. <laughs> <laughs> so, exactly the same principle for the base of that. And then, one thing, important thing that I did not show you before is in one of the sides, now I'd recommend you do this um, gap in the fleece rather than the fur because it's a lot easier to stitch up. Now, I forgot to leave the gap, so I'm just going to take my seam ripper and put a gap back in. But before I did that, I did a little forward and back top and bottom ah. there so that when I do open this up and remove these stitches then it's not gonna it's gonna go so far but then no further so better to leave the opening in the side seam not at the top yes you want it in the side. oh definitely because the next step which I'm gonna try and do before I put this bottom bit in is to actually join the two pieces together I might need a bit okay. of a bigger hole than that because that's a bit skinny for turning things out but we'll see what <laughs> we can do so you are going to take one the wrong way out, which will we'll keep this one as the wrong way out because that's still got pins in the bottom. You're going to take one and turn it the right way out. So this is my one that's going to be the right way out. And then I'm going to put them inside each other. Okay. So that one's yep. going to go in and you want to get it as far in as you possibly can. And then we're going to line up the top. So where those seams line up, you want to make sure that you haven't twisted it as well because obviously you've got one short side and one long side on here and you want to make sure that you've got those so that they line up inside each other like that and then you're going to pin or clip whichever's your preference all the way around these are getting quite chunky now so i think actually clips might be better for this and then you're going to stitch all the way around the top now for this you might need to take your sleeve arm off your machine because on most machines oh, you'll have a piece that slides off the accessory tray should slide off and leave you with this piece here that is called a sleeve arm and what you're going to do you just see if i can get this on very very quickly and i might not get might yeah, not get it all make stitched, the job easier, but we'll get, it? we'll get a chunk of it done okay so um, I was hoping to get through more than one project in this hour, but that's not going to happen. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but we'll be, we'll be extra speedy in the next hour. There we go. So let's move those out of the way. That, it's been designed so it should be wide enough to easily slide on most sleeve arms. And then we're going to put that back to our tape, which is at a half an inch. And then needle down. And away we go. We're just going to oh, foot down. Any particular length and then we're of stitch stop. that you're using? Every so often we're going to stop and just move it round so we've got the kind of most of it in front of us and the bit that we've got in front of us is nice and straight. 
It's just this bobbin job jiggling about a bit. And then Do you need we'll a slightly stop. longer stitch than you would with a cotton because you're going yeah, to Yeah, I mean, such I, a I would. This is, um, is currently set to uh, about 2.5, which makes lots and lots of little stitches. I would probably set it to a 3.5 ish stitch. 20% of the extended all the way stock around, on, everybody. Just keep going. Make sure that it's all nice, kind of nice and straight. So by nice and straight, what I mean is pull it towards you and just make sure that these two pieces are lined up and the top edges are lined up and the bit that's going to go through the machine is nice and flat. That's what you're aiming for. And by pinning those um, seams in the first place and pinning them open, that's going to reduce your bulk at the top okay. as well. Got you. Where has this I hour should... gone? Do you know, it's a long time since I've said that because I've not been here for a little while, but do you know, <laughs> it has literally flown. Literally flown. There do start go. checking those baskets out, especially if you've got happy hours in there as well because those prices will go up at 7 o'clock. We've got some really good ones for you as well. Just watching Hayley with this book. I know, Hayley, you would have liked to have got into another project as well, but actually I think it's been really nice seeing this come together. Well, it well, takes a lot of the fear more out of the project real as time, well. And if, if I had done uh, a bit less chatting, I probably would have got it finished. But I will make sure it's finished for the next hour so you can see that non-slip base on it. I'm all the way around. And then what I would do is um, turn it right side out and then we're done. So when I come round, I always make sure I start and finish at the same place. And rather than forward and reversing, I just go over the top of my first lot of stitches, Got just you. by four yeah. or five stitches. And that just saves you forward and reversing. So then I will pull that back through. And then that little hole that I left in the side, I'll turn the whole lot through it. But because I've still got this piece to sew onto the base, I'm going to leave it like that for now, get that bit sewed on. And then there, there are your two different options. Uh, there we are. There's one that's finished. Out, there it is in. reversed and turned into a, a lovely sort of ankle slipper or boot as well for you. Don't miss out on the one day special. Over 20% of the extended stock. Got to accentuate that because we sold out the initial stock really, really quickly. 604-427. I've got another hour with the lovely Jenny coming up as well. So don't go anywhere. Hayley will be back at eight. Check your baskets out now if you want those happy hour deals because you've only got about three minutes left. Uh, I'll see you shortly over the other side of the studio.